Save it. So if you go to code.org, follow that link, then you'll need to, um, well, I, I just sign in, but you need to create for yourself an account. So uh, am I gonna sign in? You can sign in with Google. I think that's how I signed in. And, uh, but you need to go and create yourself an account. Then when you do, you'll be able to, you'll, you'll be able to sort of uh, see these things. Now, our class is section 27. I see four people have already joined it. We've got a login thing there. Now, what you have to do is you have to create your own account. You, so I'm not doing that for you. I'm just asking you to create your own account. Use your email address and you choose a password. I, I'm not ever gonna know it. What I will be able to see is I'll be able to see your activity in the, in the thing, right? So we have a course that we're doing, which is the express course. And how the express course works is it's a bunch of um, um, Angry Birds stuff. We started out with at least. I, I went and played around with a bit of uh, Angry Birds this morning. Um, so that's what I want you to do. I want you to sort of uh, go to code, create yourself an account. And then once you've created your account, where's, well, yeah, once you've created your account, I guess I have to go back now to, uh, or I could have opened, no, oh, that's bad. I should have just stayed in it and just open up D2L again. Once you've um, created for yourself the account, what I want you to do then is uh, follow this link here. That code there is for our class. And then you'll join our class. Now, four students have already done that, I see. Okay, so if you go to this link, create for yourself an account. Once you've done that, go to this link and join our class. And um, once you've joined our class, you'll see that I've set for you a lab to do there, which is this uh, Code Express. And it, you'll, um, you'll be able to do that. So when you get to code, you'll find your, this is for me because it's in a teacher view, sorry. So yours probably won't look like that, but I think that you'll get something like this. I haven't seen it in student view, but that's how it looks for me. And you can, and you'll have a course and you'll continue with some kind of lesson in the course. So this is about debugging. And yeah, each of these things has a little lesson. So I, I should go back. I wonder if I can go back to lesson two. I bet I can. I bet I, if I go to view, uh, if I can go back to lesson one, so you'll see what you've got. So there's lesson one. They've got a little video that tells you what to do to get started, okay? And then you've got some stuff to do, right? So um, we went to number two. Let's see, can I repeat this? Okay, yeah, so this is, this is a thing. It says, this is how it's going to start for you. It's going to be this angry birds and this green thing. And I'm sorry, it's a, it's a haram animal, but I didn't make the game. All right, so please don't be upset by that. That's not what I think is funny. <laughs> All right, so you know what I mean? So I, I just hope you'll overlook that. It is haram, but uh, you don't need to touch it or anything. It's just a game. So, All right, so the way this works is you've got these blocks. So here you've got the angry bird and the green haram thing is the thing that you're gonna try and land on and destroy, right? So we're destroying Haram things. So maybe that's okay, I hope. <laughs> um, now, how this works, this is a simple one. He's gonna move forward twice and that should destroy the Haram thing. Yeah, I would reckon it would. So you just run that, boom. Okay, and that seems kind of silly, but if you look now at the code, if you press on the code, we actually see that, hey, you know, that kind of looks like a computer language. Actually, it kind of looks like Java or JavaScript. And in fact, it is JavaScript, I think. So you actually do get to have a look at how JavaScript would look uh, if you were going to write this. 
and it says that I've just written two lines of code. Um, yeah, so the thing is, you, you, um, so you can work through these lessons like that. Go to the next lesson once you've done that. Again, this is just, all right, so this one's going to move three times. Well, that's, I guess I've already done this. That's why it's like that. All right, so suppose it was wrong. You could take that and put it all in the bin. All right, now if I try and run it, it doesn't do anything, right? So you have to move these there, right? So you have to move these there. And how, what, how you do is you move the thing until it's there, right? Um, but I need to do that three, to three times. Yeah, because if I count here, I see I have to move three times. And so I can just move those over there and then I can do the reset and then I can run and it'll work. All right. Uh, now, sorry, it's kind of childish, but it does, you'll see it pretty soon. Doesn't take long. It starts getting into something a little bit better. All right, so now we've got something there and we have to do something, right? It's gonna move forward. Then it's gonna turn left, yeah. Then it's going to move forward two more times. Well, yeah. Actually, will that run? Yeah. Now, the reason why this is working without me doing any work is because I've already done this. I did this this morning. That's why. So it won't look like this for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mess this up a bit. Um, say, take all that stuff in the rubbish. And so now, how, how would I do this? I can see I have to move forward, I have to move left, right, then I have to move down, then I have to move left, then I have to move forward. And so, yeah, so it's so I just do all of that. I'd move forward, then I'd turn right. Now, by the way, I could put the turn left one in there and then turn it into a turn right, then move forward again and then do a turn right again. It's a turn left actually, isn't it? And then a forward again. I think it's like that, yeah. And yeah, isn't that fun? <laughs> um, let's get to something where we get more exciting, I don't know this. Let's move on to these first ones are kind of simple. They're all, let's move to this one. Yeah, all right, now we got something. All right, so we can have something a little bit more complicated and we get this thing here, which is a repeat. Um, so I could make a mistake. There it all is. I didn't have the start, what happened to the start? Uh, challenge. This code has a lot of bugs. All right. Move forward. Turn right. That's a problem. All right. So move forward again. Oh. All right. So Move forward, move forward. It should, so that is an error, right? Can you see the error? No, no, actually turn around. That might work now. Move forward twice, turn right, move forward, turn left, turn right, move three times. Yeah, okay, so what's new in that? What's new in that is we've got this, oh, We've got this thing here. We're on the next one now, sorry, but we've got this thing here where we can repeat. So there we're seeing a pattern. The pattern we're seeing is I'm just going forward a lot of times. So we have a way of making a loop, which is repeat. And we put the repeat and we can choose the number of times that we're going to do that. So when we do this, you know, we could do it three times or four times or five times or whatever. Now, what I want to do with this is I'll run it. Because now we're getting into something a little more interesting. And what I mean there is, so I have a look. Now we've got some code and we see, so we already seen the move forward, turn right, but we've got this. 
All right, so if you're sort of interested in code, we're actually doing some code here, right? We've got a definition of a variable called count, bar, bar count. We'd do that if it was um, if it was uh, JavaScript or uh, Java. And uh, we initialize it to initial value of zero. Uh, we are going to iterate it or repeat it as long as it's less than four. So from zero to four, it's going to be zero less than four is going to be three. Zero, one, two, three, that's four times. So it's kind of weird because we started with a zero, but that's just sort of the way we do things in computing, right? And this just means to implement the count. Now that's real computing, right? And so that's actually built into what we're doing. You can always go and have a look at it. I think that's enough to kind of get you started, right? So at some point, please have a look at that. Uh, you don't have to upload to the to the Dropbox because I can just check it on code.org. I've created that that um, that classroom on code.org and you guys have your accounts there. All right, so we're going to do that. It's just a little bit of fun. And don't think that we're treating you like babies, all right? It's not that. Um, it could be that if you didn't look at the code. So I will ask you to sort of have a look at the code and, uh, you, and try and make it as sleek as possible, okay? Try and make it as sleek as possible. Uh, so use your repeats, all right, uh, when you get an opportunity, et cetera. I think that's enough on that. And as I said, my apologies about the non-Haram animal. I don't know why they thought they had to use that. 